As the struggle to uproot illegal weed shops in the city continues, lawmakers are trying to ramp up efforts to shut down unlicensed businesses. Queens Assemblywoman Jennifer Raj Kumar just introduced a Smoke Out Act bill that would give municipalities like New York City the power to close these shops. Right now, only the state has the authority to do so. And Assemblywoman Raj Kumar joins us now. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm a huge fan, Stephen Natasha. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. So there are 11 legal weed shops in New York City and roughly 1,500 illegal shops. It seems like new ones pop up on the block every week. So how is your bill going to make a difference? Well, that is correct. I have just introduced the New York State Smokeout Act, and the Smokeout Act will aim to shutter all 35,000 unlicensed illegal weed shops all across New York State. These smoke shops are deeply unpopular. They are hotbeds of crime, they endanger children, and it's time to shut them down once and for all. And my act, what it does is, it gives the power back to the cities and the municipalities to shut down these shops. Currently, only the state can shut down the shops, but the state simply doesn't have the manpower to get the job done, but cities do. In fact, Mayor Eric Adams said that upon passage of my bill, he will be able to shut down all the illegal smoke shops in New York City within 30 days. What about just handing out more licenses and letting mm -hmm. legal weed shops fill the void that clearly exists with all these illegal shops right now? Well, you, you identified the problem, which is that the illegal market has overtaken the legal market. There is only 40 legal s smoke shops in the whole state right now and 35,000 illegal ones. So this is a huge problem that needs to be addressed right now. But is, isn't that the state's fault, the fact that there's that few licenses at this point this far into the whole situation? I think everybody agrees that the rollout has to be faster. Mm -hmm. The licensure process m must be much faster. And also the process for shutting down the illegal weed shops, which is what my focus is. So talk a little bit about the enforcement then. You kind of mentioned that Mayor Adams says that, um, you know, upon passage, he's going to shut more shops down. What's that going to look like? It's going to look like a huge relief for all of New York City. Uh, right now, New York City Sheriff Anthony Miranda is doing a valiant job of trying to shut down these shops. But the city simply is not vested with the authority to do so. So what happens is the city can find the shop, but the illegal shop just pays the fine and opens right back up. And that's just the cost of doing business. Right, so the bill was officially introduced in the assembly last week. Where does it stand? What's the uh, odds of it passing? And what's the timeline, do you think? On day one of session, so many of my colleagues came up to me and said, we are behind your bill. I have an incredible Senate sponsor, and the two of us are gonna drive this forward I'm very optimistic because there's unanimous agreement that we have to address this problem. All right, Jennifer Rajkumar, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.